to move on to our next guest because I re- I want to hear from hey, him folks. because this is DePaul's finest. We have a varsity esports player. We've got Alex Karma Juni Rodriguez, Rocket League. I want to know a little bit more about all the stuff that DePaul has to offer. Alex, welcome to this e-gaming FIFA Foundation tournament. How are you? For sure. I'm doing great, Carlos. Thanks so much for having me. Absolutely. Thanks for making the time. You know, Alex, I'm going to just go get right into it. I want to know about your experiences. How, you know, when did you get involved with esports and how has it just taken off for you? For sure, yeah. So I started playing esports at like a really young age. Um, I played like Counter Strike, Call of Duty. I know we mentioned those earlier. Uh, growing up, um, pretty much like born with a controller in my hand. And then uh, about 2015, I discovered Rocket League and it just kind of clicked with me. I really loved it. Um, for those who don't know, Rocket League is essentially almost like soccer with cars in a way. Uh, it's very fast paced, the stadium is pretty small, so the ball can go back and forth within like a matter of seconds. Um, but yeah, I started playing in 2015 when I was in high school. Uh, played it pretty casually at the time and funny enough, you know at the time my, my parents were always harping on me You know don't play too much games, you know <laughs> do your schoolwork and all that stuff So naturally being a teenager I continued to play games <laughs> um, But fortunately, you know, uh, yeah, I did event end up doing a little bit of schoolwork because I did end up getting accepted to DePaul University um, which I, I ended up attending in 2017 and from there I ended up uh, you know finding my job over at DePaul eSports and we, we have an in-person esports center uh, when things are obviously in person. And there we have some PCs, we have consoles. Um, it's just an awesome time for students to come on in uh, and check out. And so I, I started working there for a bit. And through there, I discovered I discovered that um, you know DePaul had a team of Rocket League players. So I got involved with that. It, it was very small at first. You know, we had about four different players playing at that time. And um, so it was very small and humble. I was playing on the varsity team, and then. Before I knew it, you know, we exploded. We had 16, 17 players all playing. We had uh, two coaches, and it became much more like a team dynamic, you know, um, just with the management and weekly practices and stuff. Um, we'd all hang out outside of practice as well, and we'd get food. And once we were old enough, we would get drinks. <laughs> um, and it was just like a really great time having this mindset. I, I had personally never played on a sport competitively, so having that team experience was really cool. So, so then fast forward to, I guess, last year, my senior, junior year uh, of college, we were participating in the Big East tournament, which was a 16-week tournament uh, featured just a weekly match for placements, eventually ending up with a land tournament in New York City. Uh, so we got to do that. That was probably like the pinnacle of my, uh, my eSports career. Uh, and it was a lot of fun. I mean, DePaul covered everything, uh, like the flight, the food, the hotel, everything. And, and we ended up winning it. And it was just such an awesome experience. I couldn't emphasize that enough. Uh, I remember like getting on the plane to return to Chicago after we won, and it felt like we were like NBA superstars. <laughs> um, j- just like an awesome time there. And then, kind of, kind of going to you know COVID era uh, in the last few years. You know, everything has been remote, or... and I- I'm really happy with how Megan brought up like social isolation and the effects. Um, I personally, my my parents live in Europe. My, uh, my parents live in Europe and I, um, I live by my own. So obviously a lot of social isolation and through a, a program called Discord, which is very similar to Skype, just like uh, just chatting and uh, channels to conversate. Um, you know, the Rocket League has their own Discord and people are just always hopping in and out of there. And I hang in there like a few hours a night and uh, it's, it's just so great for, uh, to help combat social isolation. Even if I'm just working or someone else is working, it kind of stimulates being in person a little bit uh, so eSports has definitely helped me socially as well. Um, and also around this time, I also became the DePaul Rocket League president, which has been awesome. Um, kind of getting like a leadership role as well in there, which has been very cool. Um, and yeah, I mean, I think that kind of sums up my experience with colleges. Um, looking into the future, you know, I started applying for jobs. Uh, and, you know, people see on my resume Rocket League and they ask like, oh, you, you play Rocket League? And <laughs> it really makes some of those resume experiences a little nicer. So. Uh, I guess what I'm trying to say is esports has had like a massive impact on my life, usually for the better. I uh, met a lot of friends, a lot of good people, and it, it's been awesome, honestly. It, it just hearing that, and and it sounds 
you know, I, I've always had sports in my life and, and I've always been able to uh, go back to those experiences of, you know, being on a team and hanging out with the buddies and, you know, meeting after the games and talking about, you know, how we could have done better or, you know, what, what went well and, and, and analyzing those things. And, uh, you know, I hear a lot of that in your experiences, right? And, and it's incredible because we learned it from Louis as well, right? That the, the, the team aspect of, of soccer was taken away from him, but then he was able to find something similar when he went back into FIFA. And, you know, you mentioned a very similar uh, relationship with, with Rocket League that you were able to kind of ascend. It started off small, blew up, and then here you are, you're taking leadership experiences uh, you're talking about how you're able to put it on your resume and it's a conversation starter because we know that that's such that's half the battle right when it go into an interview is is breaking that ice you know and, and and what better way than to put it on your resume right because it's a leadership role right and, and it deserves to be on the resume Absolutely. and then here it is and that person reads it and it's like wait a minute I play Rocket League all the time <laughs> Yeah, and then they exactly. want to ask you, right? They want to ask you. They want to pick your brain. They want you want some tricks uh, on how to get better and how to improve. And and and, and so uh, it's it's just so cool to see. And you know, especially hearing that the experience that you were able to to kind of have, where you felt like an NBA star, right? And <laughs> and the Paul, the Paul's a D1 school, and and so you're a D1 athlete, wouldn't you say? <laughs> Yeah, exactly. And it's cool. I mean, we have like jerseys and everything. They have our names on the back. It's really such a neat experience. Alex, let me ask you this before I let you go. How can how can our listeners, how can our community, uh, how can they get more involved if they want to become a D- DePaul uh, varsity esports athlete? Sure. Yeah, I would say the best part would just be to hop over to our Discord. It's uh, discord.gg slash DePaul esports. And then also just outside of um, DePaul, you know, if you want to get involved with collegiate esports, uh, when I started being a college student, it was not a big thing, but today it is, fortunately, and there's plenty of opportunities, really just no different than sports. I mean, if you're good at playing games, a lot of schools will will take that into accounting and really look into that. So definitely a lot of opportunities, definitely a lot of scholarships at some schools and stuff to look forward to with esports, especially at the collegiate level. It's only growing. It's only going to get bigger from here. You know, you said it. It started off small and then it blew up, and that's how we're 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 uh, approaching this esports foundation, e gaming foundation. That's what our tournaments. We're starting off small, and look at us now. We're continuing to grow, uh, and we're super excited about the opportunity. Alex, thank you so much for taking the time to share your story. It was inspiring. It's amazing, and uh, you know I, I'm sure. Like we told Louie, it won't be the last time that we hear from you. Uh, any any last remarks, any last words you wanted to, to leave our audience with? Yeah, I, I guess what I will say is just like, uh, you know, with moderation, don't, don't make it your only thing, but just keep gaming. And, you know, it's all about having fun. And if you improve in the process, that's like the number one thing. Um, that's how I started having fun. I started casually, and then that's when I started narrowing it into being uh, competitive. So, yeah, just go out there, have fun, and see what it leads to. Perfect. Thank you so much, Alex. Have a great night.